Yeah, so how have you like dealt with that kind of culture? Because if, if there's anyone who's gone through like, we've talked about, we've talked a lot about, you know, toxic online culture, mm. a lot on our podcast, but if there's anyone who's been through <laughs> toxic online culture, <laughs> It is you. Yeah. So if there's someone we could we could actually you take advice say. from, it's yeah. probably you. You, you, guys you need you're... advice? What's wrong? Well, oh, you've been on Talk like to me. you've been on like <laughs> the. <laughs> I, I'm good. I Nothing, just want yeah. to hear your yeah, yeah, no, Nothing's no. inherently wrong, but like you've been on the forefront of literally every war or battle when it comes to that I side of things on the internet. internet. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. It's just, I think it'd be really interesting to hear from your perspective about like what you've seen and what you've gone through. Yeah. And like your honest opinions on it. Yeah, sure. Um, where do I even start? <laughs> How do you begin? Like yeah. what, what's yeah. the start For of this? For starters, again, I think I was really naive. Right. Like mm. I came on Twitch just to make friends to play video games with. Cause in no. this small town, I knew like two people, two girls mm, and right. like four guys that I would game with sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. we started making YouTube videos as well. Yeah. Like we just yeah. want friends. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And like the two girls didn't even play games anymore. And I'm like, I need friends. You know, I was 17, just wanted to have fun. Yeah. Right. And I kept doing it uh, part time. And I have been on the internet since I was like 11 or 10. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I know that there will always be some weird comments, some oh, yeah. creepy person, some whatever. Yeah, so definitely. I was very accustomed to that. And I grew up with an older brother, so I was very used to bullying. <laughs> I'm kidding, not bullying, but like, if anything, a lot of banter. Like he would talk some shit, I would talk some shit. Yeah. yeah. Now we're besties who play Valorant together, but still. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so like, I guess I was just very used to that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so streaming, I didn't, like, especially just starting off, I was like, oh, this is normal. You'll get weird comments yeah. here and there. Yeah. But oddly enough, I feel like, let me know if you guys agree, like way back in the day before, all these social platforms and mm. Twitch and content creation in general blew up. Mm. I actually feel like the internet was a little more uh, like almost like wholesome and welcoming because there weren't as many people yeah, who yeah. were that deep into it. Yeah, I, yeah. I was just about to say, it really felt like all the, um, like around 2015, 16, when obviously all the political stuff was happening, yeah. it kind of just shifted into the online thing so which like, yeah. with all the Me Too stuff as well, where everyone had to pick a side with it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it was just, it just became this, you versus them. And then if you were a woman online who had, uh, yeah, yeah. And then that, yeah. so I imagine that was that when it yeah, started picking up? Absolutely. But like when I was even like 12, 13, 14, yeah. 15, and I would make friends online and someone found out I was a girl, they were actually really nice. Yeah, like yeah, too yeah. Too nice. I have this like, <laughs> no, legit. Oh, slash I have nice this guys. core memory of playing Maple Story and meeting a guy one time right. and he was like, Oh, I'm gonna quit. And he found out I was a girl and he gave me all his loot. Everything. He had been grinding for like three years. And he was like, well, I'm actually that, quitting today. So here's the most, all my That loot. is the most maple story. <laughs> yeah. So wait, wait, wait. Like only wait. maple story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wanna stay inside forever in that worn out yellow sweater.